begonia collection. These are beautiful, but here's what I want you to know. Not only are you gonna see big, gorgeous flowers in your plant, but this is a great, colorful, shady plant. If you have shady areas, I know we have that at our house, um, behind our house, it's very shady because uh, we're out in the woods. And so you, it's hard to find really good shady plants that give you a lot of color and size, but this one will, and it will tell you all about it. But there are also, you're gonna get four colors. You're getting four plants, each with a different color. So if you won't want to buy more than one set, by all means, go ahead. But Barbara King, Hi here again. is our garden expert. She has her own store not far from here that I've been to that is absolutely exquisite and gorgeous and massive. And I don't know how you keep up with it all and do designing for QVC we as well. We love flowers, <laughs> plants, and we love to be on the hunt for the latest, greatest, and the best quality that is out there. Yeah. And we are fortunate enough to have a shop where growers and wholesalers know that our customers want the latest, greatest. Mm -hmm. They want the best that's out there, the best quality. So they find it for us. They are yeah. like the hunters. <laughs> and they will call the shop and they'll say, get this collection, it is spectacular. And wow. as soon as I saw it, I knew why. Mm -hmm. Look at the colors that you're going to get and each petal, the double semi ruffled petal is going to have that outline on every single petal of that white edge. That laciness. Yeah, and each flower wow. has such size to it. They're going yeah. to be four to five inches across. Oh my gosh. So they these. are a spectacular size, oh. an amazing flower that's going to grow in the shade. Yeah. I love like a woodland garden with maybe an urn because I do yeah. love these in containers. Uh -huh. Have a, that urn, that surprise burst of color with the mm -hmm. unusual coloration of every single one of these accented with that white edge. It looks like Mother Nature wow. thought they were so special <laughs> that she went around and drew outlines on each one of them. Tell us about the colors we're going to get. Sure. So right there, you're looking at the apricot. That apricot is a very pretty orangey color mm -hmm. accented with the white. Beautiful. Then we have the light pink, mm -hmm. and that is just that poofy, beautiful yeah girl pink. Almost like cotton candy. Yes, yeah, so, so pretty <laughs> soft and the white makes it lacy. Yes. That's why it's called lace begonia. They certainly look like lace. Here we have the salmon. That mm. salmon is a true salmon. It's a corally pink. Uh -huh. it just looks amazing. Imagine that right. in a shady area, how that would wake it up. And, and then this. red. The red. And all look of these colors work together beautifully. I bet. Each bag will come labeled with what color because okay. if you want to put these in planters or maybe a window box, they are right. absolutely amazing in a window box. Here's the one thing we should mention is that if you put these in the ground, they are annuals, yes, correct? They are, and I but, like them in a border because oh yeah, okay. they do stay low. So if you want them in the shade, just know they are annuals. However, you were telling yes. me that if you put them in a pot, then or the ground, or in the ground, you will just dig up your bulb at the end of the season before uh -huh. the first frost. You're going to cure it, dry it out, and maybe put it in a paper bag right. or a cardboard box and uh -huh. store it in a cool, dry, frost free area. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take these bulbs out again and next year plant them and they're going to come back bigger and better every year. So you can make them into perennials. Yes. You just have to do that little bit of work at the end of the fall, you know, by digging them up, letting them dry out. And then yeah. my husband does that a lot. And so, because then your money goes so much farther and like you sure. said, they come back bigger and better than ever. Oh yes. So let's talk, first of all, we said about this is a great shady plant, mm -hmm. plant with the colors, but about how big will each plant get? So they're going to be about 15 inches tall by about 12 inches wide. Okay. So if you do plant them in the ground, make sure you keep them at least 12 inches apart from each other. Okay. Put them in pots though. You will love them as well in containers or if you're doing them in the ground they look amazing in a border yeah this is an amazing hanging basket too I was just my gonna, husband yeah 
My husband is an amazing gardener. Is he? Uh, oh, oh, he's the won two of you the together? most blue ribbons in the history of the oh, Philadelphia. Are you kidding? Oh no, he's, he's won a the most big blue show ribbons. off that I'll use. You know the ordinary names, and he'll. Oh and I'm like, my stop it! Gosh, so but begonia. you know what? <laughs> when you were talking about hanging baskets, because this is shady plants. So you think about if you hang a basket under an eave or anything like right, that. Your porch. Yes. You have a unbelievable big flower look that are stunning mm -hmm. colors. And I always say and encourage you because one of the first plants my husband ever entered into a flower show yeah. was a begonia that he grew uh, himself. And there is wow. nothing more satisfying. So if you have a local flower show, put this in a pot, put it in a hanging basket, enter it into your show and you could win your first blue ribbon with a plant like this. Show us how to plant this. Okay. And also tell me about your planting guide. So you're going to get this planting guide. Yeah. And I call it like the recipe. I love reading recipes in a book <laughs> and it's going to tell you and then right up here it actually tells you how to dig it in. So if you forget this. I'll read it to you. This dig is... a hole deep enough to allow the bulb to be covered with one inch well, of I'm soil. I'm not even going to dig. I am just <laughs> going to do that and cover it with soil. Yeah. And there it is. Now the begonias will like to be watered in. So you water it in uh -huh. and you'll keep the soil moist, but you don't want it to get really soggy and damp. Mm -hmm. Keep it moist keep and it is heat tolerant too yes another thing that i love about Great. this plant the fact that it's heat tolerant you so, can, it'll take the hot summer as long as you have it in the shade that's right now remember if you have shady areas which a lot of people do it might be under some big trees yeah. it could be like for us as i said in our backyard there's just areas where it just doesn't get the sun the sun comes around the front of the house and not around the back and so it's just really, really helpful to be able to have shady plants that you can put in that are going to be this colorful, this big, yeah. this bold, really, <laughs> is what you want. Super spectacular to have yeah. something of this size I and the coloration it. in a shady area. I always find shady areas look a little dull. So when you are planting your beautiful begonias, that, I mean, look at that color of that salmon there. Tell it's me so about your Better pretty. Blossom Bar Booster. Yep. Better Blossom Booster, water it in with your Better Blossom Booster. I teamed up with Richard Jackson, who many of you fell in love with Richard Jackson Blossom Booster. And now we have it here, Barb's Blossom Booster. Water your plants in with this and you'll get even better results. Between the it. Grow Guide and the Blossom Booster, you're gonna be way ahead of the game <laughs> in professional gardening Barbara for anyone. Kate, thank you so oh, gosh, very, very much. I have it's been so fun. much fun sharing all this. This is awesome. And in the meantime, we will be back with another Barbara King item. I forgot that.